Hey everyone, what's up? I'm the Net Ninja and this is CSS for Beginners Lesson 8, Targeting Elements. So in previous lessons we've talked about what CSS is and how it contains a selector for targeting content on your HTML document and a declaration for styling it. Now these selectors come in a variety of forms, we can target loads of different things, loads of different ways, but the simplest way to do it, to make selectors, is to just target the element names themselves. Really simple. And so that's what we're going to do here. So to start with, we've got these two paragraphs here in the HTML document. We want to grab those and style them both together in one rule. And we do this by just grabbing the element or tag name, which is P here. So all you need to do is write P and there's your selector. Dead simple. OK, that's going to target all the paragraph tags on the page. So I can just add in a few rules in my declaration here. We'll say a font size of, I don't know, 12 pixels and then we'll give it a color of red. Okay, so all now the, uh, the P tags on this page are gonna be 12 pixels in size and a color of red. So what's next? We've got this A tag here. So I wanna style that too. Again, just by targeting the tag name, which is A. So all I need to do for my selector is write A and then we can do our declaration. And this time what I'm gonna say is a text decoration property of, oops, underline and then a color, we'll say this time blue. So we want all our A tags, which is only this one on the page, to be blue and to be underlined. And again, don't pay too much attention to these values and properties I'm putting in here. I promise we're gonna cover that later. I know I keep saying I'm gonna do it later, but I will get around to it. Right now, I just wanna focus on these selectors and how to target tags. Okay, so what else have we got? We've got this span tag here, so we'll target that next. And again, you just target the tag name, dead simple, span. And we say for this one, um, let's say text transform uppercase. We want these all to be capital letters. And then we'll go up to this H1 here. Again, just type the tag name for your selector, which is H1. And then we'll say we want a font size this time of 32 pixels, nice and big. And then finally, we've got this div here. Now we're not gonna select it using the ID. We're gonna select it using the tag name again, which is div. So we'll go to div, that's our selector. And then we'll say width 100%, background color. Uh, we'll say gray for that. All right then, so that's about it. Um, we've targeted all the tags here using only the tag names and we've styled them in the CSS. Very, very simple. You can't go wrong with it. And like I said, loads of different ways to target elements in the HTML document. This is just one of them and the most simple form. I'm going to go into different ways of doing it in the up and coming lessons. But for now, what I want to do is save this and I'm going to preview it in a browser just to make sure that everything's worked okay. So we're in the contact page. So we'll right click that, show in Explorer, and we'll open this with Google Chrome. And there we go. This is our header that we um, we gave a background color of gray. That's our H1. The P tag's here in red, and the A tag is underlined in blue. And then this is our span tag. Yo, I'm a span tag, nice and loud in capital letters. So. I hope now you have got a good understanding of how to apply rules um, by just targeting the tag names. Like I say, really simple, but if you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to comment below and I'm gonna answer all of those. Otherwise, I'm gonna see you guys in the next lesson where we're gonna be covering IDs and classes. Don't forget to subscribe to these videos if you like them and I'll see you guys in the next movie.